Electrode is a very important equipment of arc welding. Arc welding is incomplete without electrode. It acts as a filler material and helps to create weld joint in arc welding. Here in this video, we are going to learn all the basic concepts related to electrode like what is electrode, what are the types of electrode, different materials of the electrode and electrode specification. So here we are going to learn each and every concepts related to electrode in this video. Hello everyone, welcome to Code Screen. In this video, we are going to learn all the basic terms related to electrode. So let's start with introduction of electrode or what is electrode. So electrode is a filler material in welding process which melt at a particular temperature and fill the gap between two work pieces or metallic parts and make weld joints and create atomic bonding. So electrode used to complete electrical circuit during arc welding also. So this is the basic introduction of electrode. Electrode always act as a filler material to perform a welding process basically in arc welding. Electrode comes in the form of wires which create electric arc in arc welding. It is always connected with the welding machine with the help of electrode holder and when electrode touch the workpiece, it will short circuit the power supply which is coming from the power source and current will flow into it and it will produce arc and it will melt the tip of the electrode which is helpful to fill the gap between the workpiece or wherever we need the or wherever we want a weld joint and it will create a weld joint and this particular process is mainly performed with the help of heat produced during the process. Now let's see the classification of electrode. So basically there are two types of electrode are used in welding process and these electrodes are consumable electrodes and non-consumable electrodes. Consumable electrode means the electrode which melt or consume during the welding process and non-consumable electrode are the electrode which cannot consume or melt during the process. Consumable electrode is further classified in two types. So the consumable electrode will be coated electrode and bared electrode. So here one by one I will tell you or I will explain about the coated and the bared electrode. Coated electrode are mainly considered as a flux coated electrode. So here let's learn about the coated and bared electrode in detail. So let's start with a coated electrode. Coated electrode are coated with one agent called deoxidizer and it will help in reduction and oxidation of the weld joint during the welding process. It is mainly known as flux. And this flux will provide strength and rigidity to the weld joint. When electrode melt during the welding process with the help of flux or with flux, it produces lots of gases and slag. The gases will protect the arc to react with atmospheric air and slag will cover the molten pool until it solidify. And at the end of the process, the slag will be removed. So this flux is helpful to protect the weld joint from the atmospheric air as well as from the impurities which is present in the atmosphere. Now coming to the bare electrode. So bare electrode are considered as bare wire and these wires are free of deoxidizer or flux. There is no coating of deoxidizer or flux on bare electrode. And during welding process, it requires shielded gases to protect the wire and weld from deoxidization or from the atmospheric gases and impurities. So this is the basic difference between the coated electrode and the bare electrode. Coated electrode comes with the coating called flux and bare electrode comes without the coating of flux. So coated electrode and bared wire electrode are considered as a consumable electrode which melt or consume during the welding process with the help of heat. Now let's see the next type of electrode that is non-consumable electrode. Non-consumable electrode cannot consume or melt during the process. 
even after application of heat. Tungsten electrode are mainly considered as non-consumable electrode and since it is known as non-consumable, so it require additional filler material during the welding process to form a weld joint because the electrode will not melt during the process, so we require additional filler material to form weld joint. Now, why this tungsten electrode is known as non-consumable electrode? So, there is a reason behind it. Melting temperature of tungsten electrode is around 3380 degrees centigrade, which is higher than the temperature produced in arc welding. In arc welding, the temperature or the produced temperature is around 3000 degrees centigrade. It produces large amount of arc during the process to melt additional filler material and it will create the weld joint and it always requires additional filler material to form a weld, weld joint. But it does not mean that the non-consumable electrode will not consumed at all. It always experiences slow decay when in use, but it is considered as non-consumable. So this was all about different types of electrode and these electrodes are in use according to types of welding and according to application or according to requirement of manufacturing processes. Now let's come to the specification of electrode. So here first we are going to discuss about the shape and size of the electrode. So the normal size of the electrode varies between 1.5 to 6.5 mm according to types of welding or according to types of arc welding mainly. The length of the electrode mainly varies from 250 to 450 mm but the diameter whatever diameter we are using the diameter should be same throughout the length. The diameter should not be variable throughout the length. Now let's see by which process electrodes are mainly made of. So electrodes are mainly produced with the help of wire drawing process. Electrodes or most of the electrodes are produced with the help of extrusion process. And during the process or during the manufacturing of electrode, it is lubricated with the help of one lubricating agent. So it is very necessary to clean the electrode properly before in use. Before welding, the electrode should be cleaned properly because if we are not cleaning the electrode properly, it will reduce the weld quality. Now let's see another but very important term related to electrode. It is related to identification and reading of the electrode. How we could identify that this type of electrode we have to use for this particular type of welding process. So here I am going to teach you about reading of the electrode. Here you can see in this particular diagram or in this picture there is a code written over the electrode. It can be E6013, it can be 7018, it can be 6018. So this particular code is representing the type of electrode or the specifications related to electrode which we have to consider during the welding process or for what material we are using this electrode, for what force or for what strength we are using this electrode, for which type of current we are using this electrode. So with the help of this particular code, we can identify a electrode for a particular welding process. So here in this diagram, you can see a particular code. The code is representing E6013. So what is the meaning of this particular code? This code is useful to identify type of electrode for a particular type of welding process. So with the help of this code, we can identify which type of electrode we are going to use for a particular type of welding. So let's see the meaning of this particular code or how we use to read the electrode. So here in E6013, the first alphabet E or this alphabet E is representing electrode. Or we can say it is also represent the method of manufacturing for a particular type of, of electrode. So it is mainly made of extrusion. So the first 
लेटर इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग इलेक्ट्रोड और मेथड ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोड दैट इज एक्सट्रूजन नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट डिजिट सिक्स जीरो वन थ्री सो द फर्स्ट टू डिजिट आफ्टर ई इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोड सो हियर यू कैन सी इट इज रिटर्न यर ई एक्स 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 सो फर्स्ट टू एक्स 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 आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग सिक्सटी and this 60 is representing the tensile strength of the electrode and this 60 is representing 60000 psi it is this tensile strength is represent in the form of or unit in the form of psi it is representing pound square per inch so 60 is representing 60000 pound square per inch so this two digits are representing tensile strength now after 60 or after these two x the third x or the next digit represent the position of the electrode you can see this digit or in 6013 the one is representing position of the electrode and one represent all position so in whatever position we need welding vertical horizontal inclined so this one is representing this electrode is useful for all positions now coming to the last digit or the fourth digit so this digit represent the polarity or we can say types of current so whatever type of current we are using it is represented by this last digit so suppose it is 3 it is written here 3 so 3 represent the penetration or it represent the types of current so we can use ac current we can use dc ep current we can use oca and current so it is mainly representing the type of current so with the help of this particular code we can identify here that what should be the tensile strength in psi what is the position or for what position we can use this particular electrode and what type of current we are using for this particular type of electrode now suppose if we are using code e7018 so e is representing the electrode 70 is representing the 70 psi tensile strength for particular electrode 1 is representing the position of the electrode that is applicable for all position and 8 represent the current which is representing reverse polarity welding current so by this particular code we can identify or we can read the electrode or we can identify this electrode is useful for this particular purpose so this was all about the basic concepts related to electrode hope you have understood all the concepts which i have taught you here in this video this particular concepts or the concepts of electrodes are very useful for the curriculum exam purpose for competitive exams purpose for interview purpose and if you want to make a, your career in welding technologies so these types of information are very very important for you to improve your knowledge or to get all the basic concepts related to welding so i hope this information or this video is helpful for you to get the knowledge about the electrode and about the welding so thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video press the like button if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel press the bell icon so you will get the notification about all the activities related to channel and please subscribe the channel and you can share this video with your friends and your known people for their benefit for getting knowledge about the welding and the terms related to welding thank you so much see you in next video